Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the concatenation and indexing in Python. So we know that a string is a collection of characters and the process of indexing is assigning the place value or the position for a character in a string. And concatenation means joining of the two strings is called concatenation. Let us see a simple Python program how this indexing and concatenation is done. Let us see the program and before that we will see the example now the this program what it is going to do is swap the first two characters of each string now the first string is abc the second string is xyz now interchanging the first two letters with the next two of the first word with the next word so that means ab is exchanged to xy that means the new string will become xyc abz so this is the transformation that has to be done in a given string that is the first step and then we are going to join those characters using the concatenation operator so for that we are using the function def characters mix up this is the name of the function and the parameters are a b and n so a is the first string b is the second string and n is the number of characters to remove and exchange okay so now what does this function does it creates a new string which is new a which is equal to b colon n plus a n colon b is one array and a is one array or a list and now this new string a will be the combination plus here is concatenation plus here joins the two two strings a string is joined with the b string to give the new a string that means part of the string a is taken and part of the string b is taken and then join to give a new a likewise we will create a new b which is equal to a part of a that is a colon n plus b n colon so this uh, n colon n means from starting to n elements and uh, this uh, n colon means the number of elements from the beginning so okay this is how the element is split from the string so now this function care mix up creates new strings new a and new b from the given string a and b and then it returns new a plus new b it is this here plus concatenates joins the two string so now it will return a new string which is a combination of new a and new b so this is the function this is the work of the function and now the comment says input the strings and the number of characters to change so we have to this in this instruct the user to give the strings so x is equal to input enter the first string slash n that means the line gets an input from the user and then assign the value to string x okay now x is the string type because python gets the input in the string format whatever the format is assigned to the variable the variable will be of the same format now x becomes string value backslash n comes to the next line the cursor will be positioned to the next line by the use of the slash n now next line says y is equal to input to enter the second string so again now the second string is got now here in our example input enter the first string will be a and input the second string will be b okay so that a and b are got from the screen and from the console and it is put it on the variable x and y so this is the portion which is just the input of the string and now it is also asking the number of characters to change in the example we have seen two letters are changed no in the example what we seen in the first slide now it is asking how many letters you want to change two letters or three letters or four letters so that is given by n so n is equal to int of input of how many characters you want to change which means always we know that python gets the input as a string now x n is the integer number of characters to change so that has to be in the integer that has to be integer 
for that the string has to be converted into integer so int of input of that value okay so now the above three lines get the x value y value and the n value which is the input strings 1 and 2 and the number of characters to change now the next para like is this the next hash statement displays the given string once you get the string you just just print on the screen so how it will do print the string the first string is colon x print the second string is colon y the slash n gives the next line always the slash n wherever the slash n occurs it will make the cursor to come down to the next line like how we press the enter in the keyboard okay and now the next part of the program is hash function call to process and print the new string so what does it do it calls the function and print the new string is print care mix of, of x comma y comma n okay so that's all now the program is over now let us see how to give the inputs and how to get the output okay now the enter the first string after saving the program and executing it will ask enter the first string i am giving as computer enter the second string i have given as calculator now it is asking how many characters you want to change i am mentioning two that means first two, two characters has to be interchanged so the first string now is computer the second string is calculator now the new string is the instead of co in the computer it is changed into ca from the calculator okay so now the first string becomes c a m p u t e r and in the second string is calculator from that first two, two letters c a is removed and changed into c o now it is c o l c u l a t o r so the two strings a computer and calculator are changed with the two positions now we have seen the plus operator which is the joining operator so now the compute computer and the calculator is assigned is they are joined using the string so this is the output of the program okay so this is how the program removes a part of the string as the number of elements n is given and it's it is interchange with the next string and joins the both the new strings this is the how the program does here we are doing both the indexing as well as the uh, concatenation operation so indexing is done by taking the first two letters of the characters and removing and fixing okay and concatenation is joining the newly formed string so now this process does both indexing and concatenation so that's all the simple logic of how to index and concatenate the given string and hope it is simple and easy to follow and thanks for watching